Hello, everybody. So today, our learning objective is we will be able to vertically subtract. So today, we're going to subtract within 1,000 with, with regrouping, okay? So uh, Monday and Tuesday, we worked on adding within 1,000 with regrouping. Now today and tomorrow, we are going to practice subtracting within 1,000 with regrouping. So here's a little reminder of the steps when we are trying to subtract with regrouping. So the first thing we want to do is we want to always start on the right. Okay, never start on the left. Always start on the right. So we're going to be starting six, take away nine. And then we want to look at the floor. We want to look at this bottom number here, which is nine in this case. And the trick is, it's more on the floor, so borrow 10 from next door. So here, we have nine is bigger than six, right? So that means we need to go next door to the four here, and we need to borrow a 10 from them. We need to take a 10 and give it to our ones. So then our ones, instead of it being just a six, we're going to give that six a 10, and it becomes... 16. So now we can subtract, right? Now we have enough on top to take away the 9 from the bottom. So 16 take away 9. And 16 take away 9 is 7. And then we go over to our 10s and we have 3 take away 4. I mean, sorry, 3 take away 2. And that is 1. So our answer is 7. Team. So remember, starting on the right, we start in the ones column. Look at the floor. Is there more on the floor than there is on the top? If there's more on the floor. That means we need to go next door and borrow a 10. So let's practice some of these problems. Now we're going to be focusing on three digit numbers because you guys learned how to do two digit um, numbers last year. So subtracting within a hundred. We're really going to start focusing on bigger numbers. So subtracting within a thousand. So our first number that we are going to look at is, to solve, is 543 take away 235. Now I want to point out that when if you are doing this on Seesaw and let the assignment later on today. And if you want to do this on paper so you can do so you can solve it on paper, that's completely fine. But what we really want to make sure that we're doing is that we're stacking up our our numbers. So we have the 3 and the 5 stacked, the 4 and the 3 stacked, and the 5 and the 2 stacked. So we got our 1s, our 10s, and our 100s all stacked exactly where they're supposed to go. Because if you were to write it and you didn't stack it correctly, right, your number's not going to come out right. So being really careful that if you're doing this on paper, we are stacking it up. All right. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. We are going to start in our in the ones place, and we're going to look at the bottom, the floor here, and we have a five. Now we're going to that. Think about it. Is there more on the floor than there is on top? There is, because five is bigger than three. So that means we need to go next door, and I need to borrow a ten. So if I borrow one ten from the four, that becomes three. And then my 3 becomes what? It becomes 13, right? So I'm going to change that to 13. So now I have enough on top here so I can subtract my 5. 13 take away 5 is 7. And now I'm going to go to my 10s column right here. I have 3 take away 3. Easy peasy. That's 0. And then I'm going to go to my hundreds column, and I have 5 take away 2, and that is 3. So my answer is 307. All right, let's try a different one. OK, 
Okay, so now let's say we have 538 take away 249. Okay, I have it all stacked up nice. I got my one stacked up, my 10 stacked up, and my 100 stacked up. So I'm gonna start on the right, and I'm gonna do my ones first. Eight take away nine. Ooh, I'm gonna look at the bottom number here. I have more on the floor than I do up top. So that means I need to go next door, and I need to grab a 10. So my three becomes two. And my 18, I'm gonna bring that 10 over to the eight, to the eight and my eight becomes 18. So I have 18 take away nine. Now I can solve it, right? I have more on top now. 18 take away nine is nine. And if you didn't know that, you could come over here and solve it if you need that visual. So now I've solved the ones, I'm gonna to go to my tens. I have two take away four. Ooh, ooh look at that. I have more on the floor here than I do up top. That means I need to go over to my hundreds and I need to borrow a 10, okay? So my five becomes what? Four. And then I'm gonna give my two a 10. So now that is 12. 12 take away four is eight. All right, now we can go to our hundreds. Four take away two. Four take away two is two. So I have 289. All right, let's practice another one. And then we'll have, I'll have you guys do two on your own. Okay, so now we have 483 take away 394. So I've stacked everything up. I got my ones together, I got my tens together, and I have my hundreds together. So that's gonna help me a lot when I solve this. So I'm gonna start in my ones column, make sure I'm starting on the right. And I see that I have more on the floor. Oh no, that means I need to go next door. So I'm gonna take a 10 from my eight, and that becomes seven. And then now I'm gonna give that 10 to my three. So that becomes 13. 13 take away four. Oh, well, 13 take away four is nine. And then I'm gonna go to my tens column. And I see I have more on the floor again. That means I need to go next door because nine is bigger than seven. So I'm gonna go next door to my four. I'm gonna borrow a 10 from them. And I'm gonna, that's gonna become a three. And then that 10 is gonna be given to my seven. So now I have 17. 17 take away nine is eight. All right, and then I'll do my hundreds. Three take away three. Well, that's easy. That's zero. So our answer here is 89. So now it's your turn. I want you guys to solve. We're going to solve two math problems. I want you to pause the video after I write the problem down, solve it, and then we'll do it together and you can see if you got it correct, okay? So the first one you're going to do is 557. Make sure you're stacking up the ones, tens, and hundreds, okay? and 338. So pause the video and solve. Okay, so now let's see if you got it correct. Starting in the ones column, starting on the right, we have seven take away eight. Ooh, right away I see that I have more on the floor than I do on top. So I need to go next door and I'm gonna borrow a 10 from the five and that becomes four. And then my eight, I'm sorry, excuse me, my seven is going to become 17, right? Because I gave them a 10. So I have 17 take away eight, which equals nine. And then I'm gonna go to my tens. I have four take away three. Ooh, I have less on the floor this time, so I don't have to go next door and borrow. Four take away three is, whoops, excuse me, one. I'll erase that. There we go. One, and then I'm gonna go to my hundreds. Five, take away three is two. So your answer should have been 219. If you got that correct, give yourself a nice big star on your page. And let's do one more. All right, this next one is 
762. Take away 475. So pause the video, solve, and let's see if you got it correct. I think I'm going to use purple this time. So let's correct the, ant the question here. We're going to start with the ones right here. And we're going to say two take away five. Oop, I see. Do I have more on the floor than I do up, up top? I do. So I need to go next door. I need to borrow from the six. I'm going to borrow a 10. And now my two, I'm going to give that 10 to my two. And now that two becomes 12. 12 take away five is seven. And now I'll go over to my tens column. And I have five take away seven. Oh, again, I have more on the floor than I do up top. So I need to borrow a 10 from the seven that's next door. That's going to become six, and my five, five becomes 15. 15 take away seven is eight. And then I can go over to my hundreds, and six take away four. That easy peasy is two. So your answer is 287. If you got that correct, Give yourself a star or a smiley face. And that is it for today, my sweets. The password is purple. All right, if you need help and support on this assignment, please come to the support group, your math support group. Um, you guys are going to be completing 15 slides on subtraction in Seesaw today. So good luck and work hard.